Sun and Moon demos out, the full Alolan Pokedex has been leaked and I've seen all of them and thought it would be fun to roast a few of the Pokemon that I think something just had to be said about them. Now warning, this might contain some spoilers of a few Pokemon so if you don't want any spoilers of Sun and Moon, just click out now. But if not, well I'm going to start roasting some Alolan Pokemon. Now first up, I just want you guys to know that I'm going to be using Rowlet because he, I think he's the best starter. But I just cannot help but notice his second stage evolution, Dartrix. Now, I, I, I don't like it. Like, what happened to you, man? You went from a cute owl to this little awkward looking preteen going through puberty. Like, maybe if you were to actually open your eyes, you would see how ugly you look. You would actually be able to fix yourself up a little bit. Especially your hair. Like, what, what's up with your hair, man? Why are you looking like Peter Pacelli from Season 1 of Heroes? You're lucky you evolve into a beast. Now, Linton, he's he's a, probably been my second choice for the starters. He, he's alright, but he looks kind of basic. But then his final stage evolution, he better be a Dark and Fire type, but it doesn't make sense because he's supposed to be a sumo wrestler, which it has to be fire and fighting if he's a sumo wrestler, but people are saying he's going to be Dark and Fire, then it doesn't make any sense. There's no way he's the best starter. Like, his design looks so basic. Why is he looking like Crunch from Crash Bandicoot? Like, get off the screen. And then we got Pop Leo's evolution chain. Now, oh man, I'm not going to lie, I think this is the worst evolution chain of the game. I mean, I can see how people like it because if they're into that elegant beauty or anything like that, but no, not me. Pompilio's final evolution looks, oh my gosh, like, like where did your legs go? Your, your second evolution had a little enchilada flopping around for your legs and then they just disappeared. You just like wrapped them up and just called it a mermaid. Like, where did your legs go? Why are you looking like the bootleg version of H2O? Don't ask me how I know that show. All right, so now we got this koala Pokemon. I honestly don't know the names of most of these Pokemon, but this koala Pokemon, if you look at it, he looks like he has so much potential to, to evolve into something good. But then I saw the Pokedex and he didn't get an evolution. I was like, are you kidding me, man? What's up with this koala now? He's just chilling there with like nothing to do. He's like the Teddy Urso without the Ursa ring to go into. Like he had a lot of potential, but nope, no love for him. He's literally stuck there with one leg, with one of his legs grinding up on that wood. Why is why is your leg just grinding on that wood? He literally has his eyes closed, jerking off to that morning wood. That, he doesn't look right. All right, so now there's Pika Peck evolution chain. I understand that the first two evolution chains are supposed to be woodpeckers, but then it evolves into a freaking toucan. Where does the logic come from that? Like, no, get, the final evolution does not fit there. Like, take your fruit loop somewhere else and evolve into another chain. Not here, too, can Sam. Let's get something straight right here. The beaks on the second and third stage evolution. The second stage evolution, the beak, is Hillary Clinton's rack at age 20. And then, Hillary Clinton today is what the last stage evolution is. It's just all sagging now. Oh, what is up with this pokemon what happened to you why why do you look like a failed painting like what is wrong with you what is up with your face random colors scattered all around your big old lips popping out of your face like this is i'm pretty sure this is literally what harley quinn would look like if she turned into a pokemon now cutie fly now i thought fletching was a pathetic flying type but this little twitter wannabe there's no way this Pokemon is fit for any kind of battle. He will lose whatever Pokemon he goes up to against. This little tiny cutie fly will lose. Like, he'll be that one Pokemon that'll make Splash from Magikarp look like a sheer cult from a level 100 Suicune. Like, the day I see this Pokemon used in a Pokemon battle is the day we'll see humans living on Mars. There's no way this guy can put in any work. Okay, now we got this fat electric rat looking thing. What? This thing is... A fat ugly rodent what like what the heck why do you why does it look like jerry from tom and jerry just joined the kkk and then he got an apple stuck trapped inside his body like what is up with your shape man why are you so round get your pachirisu butt looking out of here why did they have to make this pokemon this one is just too easy pedal bear ready to give hugs like this reject build a bear get out of here its body doesn't even look like it goes with its head either they're completely different colors like just no man just no oh comfy Oh, no, no, no. This is Clef Key 2.0. That's all I got to say about that. Sandcastles? Sandcastles for Pokemon? Really? This is almost as bad as Comfy. Literally just sandcastles. What, like, what is up with their mouth? Why is it just why is it just holes through their body? How are they supposed to eat anything? Like, there's no way they can eat anything with, the, with that mouth. Like, and did they really just put sand shovels on top of these Pokemon's heads? Do they not know how stupid these Pokemon look now? Like, it's exactly the same concept as Patrick putting a cone on his head, thinking he's a policeman. This, this is not right. It's not right. So now we got Wishy Washy here. Now, not gonna lie, the school form of Wishy Washy does look pretty cool. But the school form, the, there's no difference between the shiny and the regular version, except for his eyes. 
Why did his eyes turn yellow? Why did they call it shiny if his eyes just turned yellow? Like, no, there's literally no difference. Like, he looks like he rolled a fat joint. He got bait for five hours straight and they came back looking like this. Like, there's no difference. Now we got this fire turtle. Oh, get your master Uwe butt looking out of here. Go train your own Kung Fu Panda somewhere else. That's a ripoff. That's not right. And we got this jellyfish ultra beast. This is this looks like some lazy design right here, especially for an ultra beast. Come on, man. Where's your face at? He looks like he's trying to play hide and seek and he just stuck his face under a lamp. But now his body's still hanging out. He's just all like, huh, they'll never find me here. Now here's a fire ultra beast. Now I appreciate the bodybuilder look, but you're a freaking bug, man. You're not supposed to be that built with muscle. It's just not right for a bug. Now you're just looking like a different colored version of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's arch nemesis, the moth. Like, no, this is, this is Pokemon, not SpongeBob. Get out of here. Now, apparently this thing is linked up with Lunala. I don't get what this thing how this thing even resembles or can even be related to lunala like this hasn't been revealed yet but please tell me this isn't like this this boy is looking like an alolan coughing with down syndrome with blue smoke coming out of its eyes like there's no way this can be linked up with lunala i hope not all right now we got now we got the alolan forms right here first up is rattata man this guy is literally the mexican version of the original rattata i mean come on your fur is darker than the original and now you have a mustache he would be doing mariachi in the alola region if you give this guy a trumpet like come on man and plus the radicate form is just it's a shame man it looks like radicate got fired from his old job and went to work at burger king for a year and then came back looking like this in the alola region alolan diglett i know they didn't just stick three little pubic hairs on top of diglett and call that an alolan form like, there's no way. Oh, and then, oh, damn, now we got this Doug Trio going through that No Shave November. Like, what inspired Game Freak to give Doug Trio a blonde wig to begin with? Like, why? It's, it's supposed to be an underground all the time. Why isn't it, why isn't the hair at least brown? Like, come on, they're looking like Squidward back when Jim used to work at the Krusty Krab. Alolan Executor. Now, not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna use this Executor, but I just can't help it, man. Your neck is just way too long. Why is your neck longer than Gerald's hair from Hey Arnold? Like, yo, Executor, Mr. Mount Everest called you and he said he wants his walking stick back. Alolan Persian. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 oh, no. Persian, what have they done to you? I guarantee you, there is no backstory that Game Freak can come up with that can justify why in any universe an Alolan Persian looks like this? What? Its head is literally a freaking watermelon. It's like he tried to swallow a basketball and it got stuck in his head. LeBron James wouldn't even bother touching your basketball looking head because you're ugly. Why do you look like Squidward after he got a nose job? And why do you have a big old blue pimple on top of your forehead now? Like what? Well, get out of here. I wish this was a fake Alolan form. This is just not right. They messed up big time with this Persian. Alolan Geo, dude, man. I got so much to say about this evolution chain for the... Alolan region. This Geo dude looks ugly. Oh my god. Where did those bushy eyebrows come from? What? Not like you got two little baby squirrels living on top of your eyes now. How is a rock looking Pokemon gonna have hair, man? Were you just jealous of Probopass and started to grow your own hair? Well, guess what? The hair grew on the wrong part of your face. And the shiny? The shiny Geo dude? Why is it orange? Why do you look like Jimmy Neutron after he gained his superpower ability? Why do you look like a fat cheese puff? Like, no, just go get a razor, pluck your eyebrows, do something, please. The Graveler has the exact same problem too, except it just got worse. Now he has a unibrow. A unibrow on a Graveler? Oh no, and it's shiny colors just makes it look even worse. It looks like a giant turd just rolled up into a ball. You tripping if you're ever trying to hunt for a shiny Geo dude in the Alola region. Golem has hair too, but it's alright, it fits him, but now he just looks like Mr. Miyagi. I mean, it's not bad, but I'm, I'm done with the Alolan forms, man. I'm done with these Alolan forms. Now the last one is Zygarde 100%. Like, we've been waiting so many years for the 100% for the full form of Zygarde to come out. And this is what they came up with? Are you kidding me? This is what the best they had for Zygarde? This guy looks like he got bundle bee ears on his shoulder. And then his body is, that, is the exact same shape as Golurk, but with a Genesect trapped inside of its chest. I mean, that's my first impression. I mean, look at his chest. Look at Zygarde's chest. You can't not see a Genesect face just popping out of this guy's chest. Like, what? We waited years for this Pokemon and this is what pops up? Man, come on, man. All right, now that was, that was the Poke Roast guys. I roasted a few of them. Um, and let me know what you guys think. Which one, which Pokemon was your favorite roast in this video? And uh, leave any suggestions or comments if you want me to do another Poke Roast on another on other Pokemon or on another region of the game. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you another day. But until then, stay safe, guys.